Hello YouTubers and fellow Screenix fans, my name is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan and today we got a brand new package in from Japan. So this will be another unboxing video in uh, where we're going to show you the things I got from uh, my buyer from Japan. And um, at the end of this month I hope to get my showroom done and then I will be uploading most of those videos, I still need to edit them. But then once my showroom is done it's time to fill it up. So uh, without further ado, let's grab the box. Yeah, it's kind of big. I need to zoom out. That's how big it is. There we go. It's a box full of goodies this time. And uh, yeah, I'm going to grab the knife and let's open it. I always love how these guys package everything. I mentioned that in my previous videos. It says handle with care, just in case. And everything is wrapped to the top with bubble wrap. As you can see, this is also my first time opening it but straight from the top, bubble wrap all around it. So uh, I'm actually going to remove the uh, box from the table so you guys have a better view of the items because this is just way too big to be filming. Yep, yeah, and it's heavy. <laughs> Though this time it's not all Final Fantasy like last time. Zoom in. There we go, let me remove the knife. So this time it's not all Final Fantasy. I bought a big bundle of uh, miscellaneous items. And uh, let's check it out what's inside. Some of it I bought in bundle. So again, might sell some of these items. If you're interested, let me know in the comments down below. First, gonna remove the six layers of bubble wrap. And they just put it on top. It's like just filler. There's literally nothing in there. All right, we'll start with the first package. It's a big package. Actually, this box has been sitting in my uh, house for a while, so I have no idea on uh, how long it's been exactly. So let's open it up. I do have to notice that I do pay a little bit extra for the protective packaging, but since it's being shipped all over the world, I'd rather have a protective for just a few extra euros. Girls are not shy with uh, duct tape or just tape in general. There we go. So that's the first layer. And it's actually several items, as you can see. And They pack them separately, or like bundled, three or four items. So, I'm gonna put this aside. Let's open this one up first. You guys might already recognize it. Let me zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Like I said, I bought these in a bundle, and most of them are Jap. Well, pretty much all of them are Japanese. I can't read Japanese. Something I'd like to learn in the future. But uh, yeah, some of these I don't know what they are. I have to do some research on them. It's 
So the first one, the very simple Super Game Boy for the Nintendo. The second and third one also appear to be Super Game Boys, but they are slightly different. We got RPG 2 and Derby Stereo 6. They do work with a Game Boy cartridge, as you can see, but um, yeah, I have no idea what they are. They came with the package, so definitely bought them. As you can see, they're all Japanese. Derby Stallion 6, I guess. 06, 66. Can't read it, there's a sticker on, on it. Might have to remove that. And we got. The only part I could read is RPG. Maybe it's RPG Saga 2. Also Super Nintendo. Little spoiler. You're gonna find a lot of Super Nintendo games in this video. Second package. These are actually boxed ones. Let's open them up. Again, another layer of protector. Find the opening. There it is. I always like the protective. I'm trying to preserve it as much as I can because I do ship a lot and I do sell a lot of these games as well. So, uh, yeah, if I keep them intact as much as possible, I can use them to resell. Let's put them in here and I'll show them to the camera a little bit afterwards. So these are boxed Super Nintendo games. And an interesting one I might keep for my collection because it seems to be in a pretty decent condition. Um, so there's four and one you should already recognize if you're like me a Final Fantasy fan. So let's start with that one. And that's Final Fantasy VI for the Super Nintendo. So if you check the inside, and the box is in really good condition. Open this up for a second. You will see that the inside is completely there. Final Fantasy VI. I might keep the box. I do have a manual. It does seem there's no manual in this one. It did say that not all of it is complete, so... Um, yeah. This one doesn't have the manual, unfortunately. The box is in good condition, so... Probably will put my manual with this box. Final Fantasy VI. Awesome. Second one. SimCity. This looks very interesting because it might just be the, uh, the box. But it's like an old vintage machine and it shows the city there. So SimCity on the Super Nintendo. Again, very clean box. This is one I will put up for sale. I know there's a lot of SimCity fans out there. Me, myself, is not included. I did play some as a kid. But, uh, yeah, SimCity is not my thing, man. I can enjoy it by playing it. But let's open it up. It does have to protect it. Protect the, uh, the, uh, the filler plastic. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a manual either. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. As I mentioned before, I'm going through this pretty quickly. But um, I do review them, the Final Fantasy ones, or at least the Square Enix related ones, the separate videos, once my showroom is done. The intention is to um, get every item I have in my collection. Put a video up about it, do some research, how I got it, where I got it from, um, some history about it, that kind of thing. Then once I review the item, I will put it in my showroom, make a little um, video about me placing it or like a little scene about me placing it in the showroom. And then as we go in the channel, the showroom will fill up. I think I have about 10,000 items so far. So uh, that's going to be a lot of videos. I might just do a compilation about some of them because I can't tell. Some of them are just flyers, stickers. I mean, I can't do a whole video about one sticker, literally. So I might do a combination of like 100 stickers I have from Final Fantasy or whatever. So yeah, SimCity, Super Nintendo, putting it on the table. I have quite a big table, but I wonder if it's even big enough for the things that I'm about to show you guys. This one looks cool, Samurai Spirits. Now, I'm not familiar with Samurai Spirits. I do know Samurai Showdown Anthology series. This seems to be in that kind of league. It's a beat em up. Again, a very nice box. This one has a little bit of tear on the sides, but very limited for the age. We are talking about 1990-ish. Can't really see the year on it right now. But Super Nintendo, I know some of them appeared like the uh, SimCity one was 1991, I believe. Or maybe that's the SimCity trademark, because I actually do not know the exact date of the Super Nintendo. So, yeah, Samurai Spirits, let's see. Probably no manual in this one either. Sticker on the cartridge, very nice, very detailed, very clean, no tear and wear. For anyone wondering, uh, I just checked it off camera, yeah these are original, they're no real bootlegs. I know it's getting harder to spot bootlegs, but I got my ways to spot them and I can tell them these are not. And here we got a 16-bit collection. Retro bit. Apparently it's three games in one. We got a pool game, got a bubble bubble game, and platformer I assume? I can't really tell what it is. Looks like Alex the Kid a little bit. Again, clean box. Oh, here, Joe Mac. I was gonna say it looks like Joe Mac or like Alex the Kid, but it is actually Joe Mac. We got. I can't tell what that says. Something part two. And side pocket. That's English, so that's easy to read. Let's see, open it up. This one does come with a booklet. That's a cool looking cartridge. What is this? Let me check this. It's a strange looking cartridge. It's a black and red. That's kind of cool. I had to double check if this was SNES, but this one might not be an original cartridge. I have no idea. I need to research on that. Let me get it out of the plastic for a second. I love the looks on it, but if you can see the back, that's not your original sticker or your original casing for that matter. But uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. And it came with a little booklet, can't read Japanese. Maybe someone can tell me what it reads. I reckon this is something like, you guys made this cartridge? Retro games. Or it's just uh, the original seller that sold the game. Cartridge, the, the casing looks pristine. So this is definitely not an original, I reckon. 
Or maybe it is an original for the 16-bit. Maybe this was never supposed to be like your original game. No, you know, like you had it on the NES, like 10,000 games in one, those kind of ones. Kind of like that. Yeah, Joe Mac. I used to play Joe Mac before. Maybe should have recognized that for a bit. There we go. Well, that's the first two packages. So, first one was full of uh, Super Game Boys, and then the second one was full of boxed games. So, awesome. Gonna grab a new one. More protective layers. Alright, we got a big boy here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's an entire stack of Super Nintendo games. These are boxless. Um, no box, no manual, so just a cartridge. So for my collector's editions, they're not really uh, what I'm looking for, but um, they're fun to play. I have a Japanese Super Nintendo, so I could play some of these. I'll be honest, most of these will wind up, wind up on uh, eBay or mar Marketplace and Facebook. Because, yeah, once I'm done with them, they're, no, they're not for me to collect, because they're just boxless. I like how they took extra care of the boxes. These guys know what they're doing. The boxed ones were binded separately to be taken care of so they don't get damaged. This one is just 100 Super Nintendo games boxed together. That's okay because they're just cartridges. We don't really damage them that much. And actually... This was just the... Sorry for the microphone, guys. This was just the outer layer of bubble wrap. Because they did actually pack them separately, but per... Per bunch. As you can see, there's about... Nine or ten of them in one. We got one, two, three, four. So yeah, you can already tell. I said a hundred, and it is a hundred. So there's probably another package like that. Well, let me put the first one down. And right there, I know this. Lower right. That's Derby Stallion. That's the one we had the Super Game for. The Super Game Boy. Also know this is a really cool game. You guys will see it soon. Let me get them out of the package for now. The original reason I bought this is because there's actually quite a few Square Enix games in there. So it seems there's 12. 12 games in one bundle. We had four bundles, so that makes 48. So we start off with well, let me put it like this. Derby Stallion 2. So we had a Super Game Boy version of this. Cassette needs to be cleaned a little bit. I'll do that before selling them. Cartridge is a little bit dirty, but seems to be pretty okay. Derby Stallion 2. I'll put it here. The next one, classic Tetris plus Bumbliss. I have Bumbliss. I don't know what Bumbliss is. Super Tetris 2, actually. Excuse me. Some writing on it. Again, can't read it. Might be the guy's name, the original owner. It's just written there with pencil, so I might, uh, I mean, a sharpie, so I might be able to remove it. Since it's not scratched in there, some people scratch it with like an eraser, uh, another eraser, like a razor blade or a screwdriver or something. Like literally damaging the cartridge. Super Tetris 2, Bus Bumbliss. Alright, one of my favorites when I was a kid. Let me get this one out of the way for a sec, there we go. Super Donkey Kong Country 2. 
with Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong. This is one I might keep. The chip is extremely, extremely dirty. Might have to clean that. Another writing. Cartridge itself is pretty clean. Just a bit worried about this one. Looks to be an original cartridge. But just dirty, very dirty. Super Donkey Kong Country 2. Next one, we have Excite Stage. So I'm not familiar with this. I thought it said Excite Bike, you know, from the NES. This looks like a soccer game because there's a football on it. Chip looks to be in better condition. I mean, Donkey Kong Country 2 has probably played a lot more than this game, probably. Side Stage 94. Next one, another game I might definitely want to try out. Dragon Ball Z 2. I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball. The cartridge itself, or the casing is pretty dirty. Easy to clean though. Decoloration, that might be a bigger problem. This game has probably been laying surface down. You can see, you can already tell the games that are popular, because they're much, much more grimy than the original ones. So before I sell this, I do have to test every single one of them. Pretty sure they're all okay. That's what the seller said at least. Bought from him before, so pretty reliable. He did say it was a bit grimy, but... Then we got the next one. Another soccer game. This one is called Super Soccer. Hudson Soft. Casing is pretty clean. Bit of decoloration on the back. And text. I wonder where they write that. Maybe it's for the store or maybe it's someone's collection and they wrote something on it that... This game does not work. Something like that. I couldn't tell, even if they said that. Cartridge pretty clean. I reckon this one will work. Bit of decoloration, like I said. Right, so before we had Dragon Ball Z1, uh, 2, excuse me, and this is Dragon Ball Z1. So, front, a little bit dirty, no problem there. Sticker a little bit loose. So, some dirtiness on the back, should be easily cleanable. And the cartridge looks to be a decent, okay, decent, uh, the chip, decent, decent condition, if you will, sorry. Dragon Ball, also want to play that. I watched Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball, he, um, the compilation of Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Heroes, I think. I watched everything, basically, all the movies. All the uh, OVAs, etc. And we got... I can't tell what it is from the text. But this looks to be like a super deformed Gundam game. Chip, that's okay. Just a, the casing that's a little bit dirty. Should be able to clean that. But, uh... Yeah, Bon Presto. Got Gundam there. Wait, this is not this is not Gundam Super Deformed. That's Mazinger, and uh, this is more like Super Robot Wars. I had a game on PS One, Super Robot Wars Four, because that's a Gundam. Those three there on the top, those are Gundams, but that is not. Gin Geyser, uh, Mazinger Z. I forgot their all names. I know one of them is Mazinger, definitely. But this must be Super Robot Wars, something similar to that. Can't read the text. And there's that's all I have to go by on this cartridge. Warnings, etc. Super good Famicom cassette. Interesting. Might want to see what's that. And then, one of the best RPG games ever made, if you ask me. Chrono Trigger. Squaresoft. I have this complete in box already. Actually, I still have it sealed complete in box on the Super Nintendo. Chrono Trigger. There's a lot of stuff on there. 
It's only 280 yen. Uh, I can already tell you I paid less for that. I got this cheap. Because it was in a bundle. I mean, I paid for the whole entire bundle. I mean, the sucker games might not be worth a lot, but this game is probably worth more than 280 yen, at least in the European market. If this does end up on Facebook or eBay, this is going to be more than 280 yen, guys. Sorry. I'll tell you that. Ooh, the cartridge is very, very rusty. I reckon it will still play because it's mainly the top layer, this part here. Can I focus? Nope, oh, camera doesn't want to focus, maybe like that. Nope, oh, doesn't want to do it. it. Focuses on the background. Part of Fancy Fan, that's okay. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna check it out. Probably will work. Super Nintendo games are quite sturdy. They never filled me. Now we got another classic. Star Fox. For Super Nintendo. Casing looks to be in good condition, even the back, no decoloration. Well, a little bit of grime here. I have to use some cleaning alcohol. Cartridge itself looks pretty clean. Star Fox, yeah. Love those games. And then we have, I thought it was Duke Nukem before, but I'm not sure if they have Duke Nukem in the Super Nintendo. This looks, yeah, this Contra. I was gonna say this guy, you know, with the hat bat, that looks Contra, but then I couldn't read this part, but then that part I could read Contra. So maybe like Super Contra or something. Love those games. They're super, super hard, but fun to play. I think I've seen this writing before, this is the exact same writing, I don't, still don't know what it means. Might be the guy's name, like I said. Bit of grime on the back. Contra, definitely gonna play that. I do sometimes emulate, because it's easier for me to record the games. But now that I have the original cartridge, people always tell me that. If you have the originals, you can at least uh, stream them. Uh, from emulator and you can tell the people you got the original this is just a backup copy for a recording so I have no idea what I'm looking at ah it's like a volleyball there's a net there this guy's spiking the ball can't read that twin that's all I can read volleyball twin maybe something like two men volleyball Cartridge, that's looking okay. Chip, not too bad. The sport games are less played than the uh, the classics like Star Fox and Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger and Dragon Ball and Donkey Kong, those are definitely the, uh, the most played ones. So they are usually in a slightly worse condition. So, yeah, I'm assuming that's uh, Volleyball Twin or something like that. So let me put these aside. Just sorting them by cool games off screen. I'll zoom out in the end and you can see everything I have. So out of the 12, I'm digging seven of them. The other the five, not my kind of thing. And second up, I can already see a cool game. I see a square game here. Maybe you can recognize it. I can tell you it's zip one. Let's open it up. I think I can't read it, but I think that's front mission. Again, protective layer. Gonna take them out the back off screen. Might have already caught a glimpse of another square game. Again, twelve games. I do know a lot of these because I grew up in the NES era. Um, well, I was a little kid back then. I'm from 1988. So NES, um, 
Yeah, my brothers were playing the NES. I have two older brothers, one younger brother. And they were playing the NES, and that's where I grew up with playing Mario, Thaksunada, Kirby, Kickles, uh, what else? Double Dragon, Super Mario, of course. So I do know a few of these. All right, let's start with the first one. So again, can't really read what it says. Well, it's square. Square soft, actually. But I do believe this to be Front Mission 2. The mecha game. Like mech games, if you like big robots. Not too bad. Cartridge looks decent. Might have to do a Google recognition on some of these to just check what kind of game they are. Like the image recognition. So happy with that one. And here, I have no idea. Looks like a very Japanese game, you know, with the Sakura, the rising sun in the mountain. I like the art style of this, like, you know, classic art style. Beside that, I can't really read what it is. I mean, sometimes with Japanese games, that's the thing as well, is that the box art is like completely different from what you're telling. This could be like a samurai game, could even be a puzzle game, whatever. I don't really know, can't really tell. So, yeah, looks good. Not too much dirt and grime on it, so let's see. Let's put it over here. 